Hi everyone, this is a short video I put together because we have loads of teachers using Hypersay to teach remotely. Um, we want to ensure that your experience is the utmost and so we're going to make five points to you. Um, within Hypersay, we have uh, almost a, what's called, what we're going to call a digital blackboard. Um, so imagine that this pr presentation or this slide right here was a French lesson. Um, as the students were engaging with me and were talking about new vocabulary, I, as teacher, would normally uh, turn around and write them on the blackboard. But what we can do here in Hypersay is you go to the text and links, and now you basically have a digital uh, blackboard. So we start with the new vocabulary today. Bonjour equals hello. So all these notes that I take uh, on this particular slide, I save and now are part of my presentation. It's as if I took the blackboard and transferred it into the kid's notebook. So please feel free to use this text and links um, as you go through slide by slide and you as you engage with your students. The second point that I want to make is that a lot of the um, teachers are sharing videos inside their HyperSay sessions, which is great. But our normal def default uh, is to have it turned off. The reason being is that if you're in a class of 30 kids and they all start playing videos simultaneously, it's chaos. But if they're all home, they need to be able to see the video uh, at their own leisure. So you need to come into the settings and turn that on. If you don't, they're just going to see your video with a gray screen. Uh, the other point I wanted to make to you was the attendance. Um, you can always, always click on here. Only you can see this. So you can see that um, these people, uh, if the student's um, icon is black, that means they have left HyperSay in its entirety. If it's yellow, that means they're just on another tab. And if they're green, obviously they are inside your session. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you inside the live presentation was um, a lot of teachers don't understand that if you ask a question and the students all answer it, uh, you freeze the question and now you go to show answers. Unfortunately, only you see this uh, show answers. The students will only see their particular answer. So what you need to do is you need to share your screen. So using the video conferencing system that you're using, go ahead and share your screen so that the students can see the results of the, of, of the question that you've asked. So the last thing I wanted to show you is our report section. I'm going to end this uh, session and I'm going to go to a different um, presentation that has a little bit more participants in it. So I go here to my dash dashboard and I go to the report section. Inside the report section, I'm not going to go through all of this, but please take some time to look at the session analytics that HyperSay aggregate for you. There's a participation graph, an engagement graph, and then we go through the individual participants, what they did during your lesson, and then what happened on each slide. Here is a really interesting um, uh, graph that we put together. It's the digital pulse. It basically indicates that these students that were very engaged with you during your, um, your, your presentation or your class, and these students were less engaged. And obviously, in a remote environment, um, people are finding it very, very challenging. So that's all I wanted to go through um, with you today. Um, please, if you have any questions, send us an email to hello at hypersay.com. Stay safe. Bye.